Hi, I'm Shrey and I'm here to help us in our pathology exam that's coming up soon in a couple of days. So this time I'm going to do gestational tropoblastic disease and I'm going to focus on um, high didiform mo. So high didiform mo it can be classified into two types. One is complete and one is partial. The complete contains no fetal parts and the partial contains some fetal parts. Pathological changes is um, delicate fibromasses masses of thin wall transluted cystic gray black structures and is limited to the uterine cavity. Microscopically, this proliferation of tropoblasts, which in, um, there's two types, one is the syntotropoblast and one is syntiotropoblast. There's absent or inadequate development of vasculation and there's loose in and there's loose um, stroma. Clinical presentation of this is um, irregular vaginal bleeding, um, uterine enlargements, and normal, no normal embryo found. For example, there's no fetal heartbeat, and there's increased levels of HCG levels. So the treatment is usually by surgery, and the progression, 10%, it goes into invasive mode, and 2.5%, it could become chronial carcinoma. So what, are, what is invasive mode? Invasive mode, it um, penetrates through the myometrium and it causes hemorrhage and it spreads through the vagina. And it could cause emboli embolism in the lung and the brain. So the clinical symptoms are vaginal bleeding, irregular uterine enlargement and also increased HCG levels.